We told you after the Supreme Court's decision uh, last week to overturn Roe v. Wade, uh, at least a couple of dozen states so were ready to uh, trigger anti-abortion laws of their own to take effect immediately. One of them, Mississippi, the governor of that state, Tate Reeves, with us now. Governor, very good to have you. Is that law now in effect, sir? Well, thank you, Neil. It's always a pleasure to be on with you. Uh, the, the way in which the process works here in Mississippi is our attorney general was given the responsibility to certify that, in fact, Roe v. Wade had been overturned. She did so yesterday. Uh, there's a 10-day period uh, for that certification to go into effect. Um, not surprising, the Jackson Women's Health Organization, the same group uh, that had sued in the Dobbs case, uh, filed law, uh, a lawsuit yesterday. Uh, asking our state Supreme Court to overturn uh, that decision. Uh, it'll go through the process, but we're hopeful uh, that that litigation will be done quickly. We are hopeful that the Mississippi Supreme Court uh, will rule in our favor and allow uh, our trigger law to go into effect. What about uh, the purchase uh, for residents in your state, Governor, who, who get these Plan B contraception pills? They're not the Plan C, actual abortion-related medications that some women can get. But how do you police either or both, or do you? Well, certainly, we, we don't have any intention in our state of banning any contraceptives. Uh, that is that is not a conversation that we've had internally, uh, nor do I expect there to, to be one. Uh, with respect to Plan C, we are actually doing the, the legal research now as to determine, uh, particularly as it relates to telemedicine and, and physicians and, and what responsibilities they have uh, within our state um, to follow the, the laws, and, and we're working on that as we speak. We should say the Plan C pills require prescription and, and involve the administrative different pills to terminate a pregnancy. So technically, uh, those who dispense such pills, doctors who offer prescriptions for such pills, and women who take such pills would all be breaking the law in your state, right? Well, under our uh, bill that should go into effect, that was passed, by the way, in, in 2007, it was passed uh, with a Democrat Speaker of the House and a Democrat Chairman of Public Health. It just kind of tells you a little bit about how far the, the Democrat Party has moved on this issue. Uh, but our trigger law would, would not allow for that to occur because abortion would be uh, illegal with the exception of the life of the mother and rape. So uh, to just to understand it, how would you, if it got to the point, Governor, where you had to track these Plan C or abortion pills, for lack of a better term, how would you police their whereabouts? A lot of women order this through the mail, for example. Would you have to check their mail? Would you have to check their purchases? How, how would you screen that? No, we have a board of medical licensure here in the state of Mississippi that, that ensures that the uh, licensing physicians uh, are doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, they have a component wherein they can do uh, whatever research they need to do and ensure uh, that the physicians that are licensed in Mississippi, whether it's through telemedicine or otherwise, are following the laws of our state. And if you're not following the laws of our state, uh, then obviously they're going to pull your medical license and you no longer have the ability to practice medicine here. But again, and then and excuse my, you know, repeated questioning in this area. Maybe just slow, Governor. If if if, if you <laughs> you would have to police commerce, right? You would have to police uh, those pills getting to women in your state beyond just doctors prescribing them. They oftentimes they would have arrived by mail, right? Well, what you would be policing is the practice of medicine in the state of Mississippi. We police that with over 7,000 physicians today, and, and we, we actually have been a leader in Mississippi when it comes to telemedicine because we live in a, a rural state, and telemedicine plays a vital, critical role in, in the providing of medical services to our people. But we also have a board of medical licensure whose sole responsibility is to license physicians and ensure that they are following the laws of our state. And should physicians try to practice in Mississippi and not follow the law, uh, then they will lose their license. And to the extent they are breaking the law, they'll be prosecuted as such. Got it. All right, Governor Reeves, thank you for taking the time. We appreciate that. Thank you, Neil. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.